Today I'm really scared because I'm about to go ice swimming and roll in the snow in this weather. So as you can see, it's really cold outside. There's snow on the ground and in the trees and it actually snowed yesterday. So we have this beautiful fresh snow all around us and the temperatures are in the negatives right now. And I'm wearing so many clothes. So I have like two pairs of pants, something like seven sweaters and of course winter boots. And even with that, I'm still cold. So I don't know how I'm gonna get into a swimsuit outside, but luckily before that, I get to warm up in a very hot sauna, which seems like a better idea. Yeah. What's really cool about this sauna is that it is a home sauna, so it's located in a bathroom, so you can go out and take a shower. However, that's not what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna go outside and roll in the snow before. And let me give you a little tour before it gets too hot. So right now I'm in a beautiful wooden sauna on two levels, and this sauna is just big enough for a few people or a family. So we have this massive oven with a ton of rocks on top of it. How it works is that you take a log from this massive pile over there, and you make a fire which in turn heats these rocks and makes the air progressively hotter. So right now I'm used to the heat and I'm starting to sweat. So I'm gonna add some water on the rocks over there. So when you do that, as you can see, you're increasing both the heat and the humidity. So before this sauna was really dry and pretty hot, but right now we have a lot more steam, as you can see on the camera. And one thing I really like about this wood-fired sauna is the smell. It does smell like a fireplace with this very distinctive wood smell. So this feels pretty relaxing too. Okay, now it's getting really hot, so I'm gonna take my camera outside and I'll talk to you later when I roll in the snow. So now it's starting to get really hot and as you can see, I'm like so sweaty. So here I can really feel the effects of the heat like my heart is pounding i'm super sweaty and i'm progressively getting warmer in my body which is good because i'm gonna go outside and look at all this beautiful fresh snow let's go over there at the end of the garden and find the best spot i'm gonna take my bathrobe off and start rolling but i'm not really sure what to do like i really don't want to jump and hurt myself shall i like sit in the snow <laughs> How does it feel? Crazy. Oh my God. I'm dying. <laughs> Feels like a thousand needles are poking in me right now <laughs> with the snow. Well, I'm back in the sauna right now and this was one of the most painful things I've ever done. It almost shocks your body. I can feel my blood pumping throughout my whole body right now. The snow is not only super cold, but also the little grains of snow kind of hurt your body a bit like a scrub. So it's pretty intense. And my whole body was so red after this. Now being back in the sauna, I feel so much better and my whole body is getting warmer again. Which means I'm going for a second round. Rolling in the snow gives you an adrenaline rush and makes you feel so good, obviously after doing it. But all this excitement turned off my thinking brain. So watch carefully because I'm about to do something not really smart. Oh my god, my whole body hurts. It is going inside ASAP. What's crazy is like the snow stays on your body for a while. I've kind of lost the keys of our, our house. I don't know how to go back inside. Are you kidding me? You had one thing. Oh no. <laughs> and yes, I dropped our house keys in the snow. And we looked for them for a long time since we needed them to go back inside. I got way more snow than I wanted. Now I'm really excited to go back in the sauna and get warm again because I am freezing. Looking for keys in the snow in negative temperatures wearing only a bathrobe is not a good idea. And we're gonna keep warming up today because we're going to sauna in the middle of a frozen lake. Right now it's not too late but it's pitch black dark because here the sun sets really early. It's gonna be even more cold when I dip into the lake. So I'm both pretty excited and also really really scared. Come with me I'm gonna show you why it's way scarier than I expected. So first of all the path is really dangerous and really slippery so I don't want to take a dip into the lake with my camera and my clothes. And here it's just so cold that if you don't do anything the water is gonna ice right away. So the hole you see right here is actually created through blowing bubbles constantly to the surface. And what's really, really scary is that the steps to go in are really steep. You go down like you would in a swimming pool, except that the pool is very cold. But before I have to do that, something way better is expecting me inside, because I'm gonna be warming up in the sauna. Our sauna is actually a big wooden barrel put on a boat, and you can really see it's a boat from the motor you see over there. So in the summer, you can drive this sauna around on the lake, which is pretty cool. And even though I'm freezing cold right now, the outside of it actually feels pretty cozy and like a place you'd want to hang out after being really warm inside. And before we get into the sauna and really warm up, I wanted to tell you how I found this really cool spot using Get Your Guide. Get Your Guide is a website where you can book experiences anywhere in the planet and a partner of the channel. There's over 60,000 experiences provided by local experts in over 3,600 destinations. And they have one-of-a-kind experiences like this sauna, but you also have all the skip-the-line tickets to top sites, as well as cool local tours. And I really love looking on their website to give me ideas of stuff to do 
during my next travels. Also, it's super easy to plan your next activity. Imagine how hard it would have been for me to first find this sauna in the middle of nowhere and then actually get there. Instead, a few days ago, I used their app and typed what I wanted to do and where I am. Then I picked my favorite sauna and here you go. Today, I had all the information about my booking on the app and one of their guides even came and picked us up at home. And by the way, it's super easy to reschedule since you can cancel up to 24 hours in advance. You can book your activity today using the link in the description below. So now let's go inside and let's get ready for this sauna session. Wow, it feels way better here than outside. So in this area, we are in the changing room. So we are not yet into the sauna, but it's still getting warmer. So here, this is a good place to change from your winter clothes into a swimsuit. So we've been given a few different things, a bathrobe for when we go outside, a towel to dry up after swimming in the lake, and a towel to use inside the sauna. And we've also been given a lot of water because we're gonna sweat a lot here. So I'm gonna get changed and go inside. So obviously inside it is really, really hot. It can be between 80 degrees Celsius and 100. So when you arrive, there's definitely a shock from being outside and being super cold and then being inside and being crazy hot. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit and re-warm up before I get the courage to go in the water. And now our sauna has this distinctive barrel shape with only one level. And it is heated thanks to this wood-burning sauna oven located at the end of the barrel. I feel very, very warm and maybe getting warmed up to the idea of going outside. After a while, when you're used to the heat, you can add some water on the rocks and create more steam. And since we've been adding a lot of water, it's getting really, really steamy. As you can see, everything is blurry here because we went from a dry heat to a wetter type of heat. It actually gives you the impression that you're sweating so much, but it's just the water that's falling on you. So now I'm hot enough to go outside and I'm like really, really scared. Like I just opened the door right now and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I guess the easiest way to find out is to actually do it. So follow me. The air is so cold that it's making me cough. It's like hurting my lungs. Oh, this is terrible. Maybe the worst thing I've ever done. And as I'm going in, I'm both really shocked at how cold the water is and worried about how my body will react to this. It hurts so much. Okay, I'm going for it. Ah! <laughs> this is awful. Yeah, yeah. Ah! 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 Ah, my body hurts so much. It's gonna be like, feel amazing. But I'm, yeah, I'm like feeling good, but like very weird and painful. Like, I don't know what to say. Let's go inside, please. <laughs> so first thing, I didn't die. I'm very happy. Yeah, this feels like the craziest thing I've ever done. And I went so fast. So right now I feel like all of my blood rushing through my veins. And yeah, it does feel really good after like the initial, am I going to die feeling? You know, I can feel like the endorphins kicking in kind of after like a really nice run or like some kind of physical activity. It does feel pretty good. And I understand why people do it. I might do that again, who knows? But it did feel pretty good. After this, I went back into the sauna and my friend Kami, as you can hear, is taking a nice plunge herself. And I'm gonna go a second time. So wish me luck. Now Kami is inside, so no one is here to protect me. And I hope I don't slip. Oh, Whew. it's hurting so much. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, my legs hurt so much. Wow, I think I stayed a bit too long in this one. So I'm gonna get into the sauna and tell you about my experience later. <laughs> Okay, so this second time was really cool. Like I got over my fear of really cold water and I could stay a bit longer and really feel the effects of the ice water on my body. So obviously it didn't feel really good, but pushing through and breathing through the uncomfortable sensation was pretty awesome. This was my third time in the sauna and now I'm outside in the cold and I'm actually enjoying it. I'm extremely proud of myself to have done that because as I've told you, the cold is one of my biggest fears. I never do anything in the cold. I only take hot showers and I love the heat in general. Very, very very proud of what I did today. It was so fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.